The desert is beautiful, and there's no feeling like riding a motorcycle through it. But the desert is a tough place, and it has its own rules you must obey. Otherwise, it might just swallow you whole. Oh. Reddington Road is a dirt road that winds up and over a pass between the Santa Catalina and Rincon Mountains. It's the perfect place to see some falls or just enjoy the riding through the desert. Reddington Road itself is 28 miles long, plus a few more dirt miles if heading to San Manuel. The first 10 miles can be busy with traffic on a weekend and rapidly climbs in elevation. But beyond those initial miles, you won't see too many vehicles and the road opens up for some quicker speeds. There are plenty of trails off of Reddington, but these can get a bit difficult quickly. I'd give the main road a two pin difficulty on a dual sport and a three pin on an adventure bike. The road is mostly in good condition, but it is always changing. You'll find a few sandy washes that aren't bad, but can be daunting if you're not used to sand. Otherwise, it's dirt, ruts, gravel, and some rocky bits. But beware of some silty washed out holes. You'll likely not have phone service, so be prepared for all situations. I found a rusty nail deep down a track off of Reddington Road, and it would have been a cold night in the desert if I didn't have a spare tube. If you're starting in Tucson, then you have a few options when you're done. You can add another 22 miles of easy dirt road via Cascabel Road to Benson, or a nice sunset ride to Tucson via pavement. Of course, you could always turn around and ride Reddington Road again, but for those craving a challenge, consider riding up the backside of Mount Lemmon. 